Welcome to Course 2, Unit 2, Lesson 4, Calculating the Value of a Bond. In this lesson, we're going to learn how does the price of a bond change with interest rates and how to use the Buffett'sBooks.com bond calculator. So let's get started. So if you're like most people, math really makes your head hurt. And here at Buffett's Books, we've made it easy for you and we've made a bond calculator that does all the hard math for you. So instead of focusing on the equations, you can focus on the fundamentals and why the numbers move in a certain direction. So let's go ahead and kick this off with a practical example here. And let's assume that you purchased one bond in the year 2012 and that the par value for the bond was $1,000. It has a 5% coupon and the term on it is for 30 years. Now if that didn't make any sense, you probably need to go back to the very first course here at Buffett's Books and take those lessons so you understand what those terms mean and then you can come back to this lesson. So let's go ahead and see what happens to that bond. And we're going to try to figure out what that market price is going to do for that bond one year later as interest rates change. So here we are holding our 5% bond and it's one year later and interest rates have dropped, which is a good thing as you remember our bonds. But interest rates dropped down to 4% and the Federal Reserve is now issuing a $1,000 bond with a term limit of 30 years at a 4% coupon. So what is the value of the bond that we're holding that's a 5% bond? Because now we're holding the more valuable asset, but there's only 29 years until it matures where the other one's 30. So let's figure out uh, what our bond is worth. Okay, so here we are at the buffettsbooks.com uh, bond calculator. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in these values. The first value that we gotta put in is the coupon, which is in a dollar amount. So when we look at the bond that we purchased in 2012, it had a 5% coupon. So the bond calculator will only take the values in dollars. So you're going to have to do the conversion here, which a 5% coupon with $1,000 par value is $50. So you're going to put that in. Now realize that I've made the calculator for an annual uh, calculation. So um, if it's a biannual bond, that's something that you'd have to go to a more advanced calculator with. But this is just to give you a general idea of how these market prices change with interest rates. So we're just going to add up the coupons for the year, which would be $50, because you'd probably receive two $25 coupons. So it'd be $50 for the year. Now the par value is just 1000 And make sure you don't put any dollar signs in there. You just put the numbers in. Then the years to maturity, since we bought it and we've held it for one year, our years to maturity are going to be 29 years. Now the new interest rate of the bond that we are going to be comparing this to is 4%. Okay, that interest rate went down. And all you got to do is just put in 4. You don't have to put any decimal or uh, put it in as 0.04. You're just going to put it in as 4. Then you hit calculate. And as you can see, the bond price increased. Our bond that we're holding is worth $1,169. The reason it's worth more and that, you're, that you could sell it for a premium is because the best that somebody can go out and get is 4%. And if you would add up all those coupon payments for the next 29 years with that 4% bond, it would the price would equal this $1,169 with the 5% bond. So that's why you're able to charge a premium for it. So what would happen if we changed the years to maturity so that there was only a few years left until this bond became mature? Would you see that bond price go up or go down? So let's put that in. Let's just put in one year left on this bond. So this would be like you held this bond for 29 years and there's only one year left on this 5% bond and you're comparing it to a, a bond that has a 4% coupon. So what you're going to see is that the price goes down to $1,009. The reason you saw that price go down so much is because the, if a person's going to go out and buy this 5% bond from you and there's only one year left, what do they get back at the end of the, of when the bond matures? They only get that par or face value back. They get the $1,000 back. So they're only going to reap the benefits of of buying a, a bond that's only paying 1% more than what they can go out and get for one year. So that's why you see that price change. You see it only go up by nine to $10. But when that bond has a lot of term left on it and those interest rates go down, you can see the value increases a lot, especially for only owning it for one year. Let's say the interest rates went down to 3%. 
Look how much that bond price changed. It's almost a $1,400 bond. You almost gained $400 in one year because you had such a drastic change in your interest rates. So you can see as those interest rates go down, the bond price goes up. So let's go ahead and look at it at another scenario. Okay, let's assume that we still bought the same bond in 2012, which was a 5% coupon. But this time, instead of the coupon on the newly issued bonds in 2013, instead of them being at 4%, let's say that the interest rates went up and now they're at 6%. So we're just gonna come back over here to our calculator. Our coupon's still the same. Our par value is still the same. We're still going to say that there's 29 years left because we only advanced one year. But now the interest rate is 6%. Now, what do you think is going to happen to that bond price? And you guessed it. The bond price went down below the par value. It's only worth $864. So you can see as those interest rates rise on you, if you're buying a bond at a real low interest rate and then interest rates rise, that bond's going to become worthless. And that's really important to understand as you invest in bonds and stocks, you got to be buying these assets at the right time. And how you can buy these assets at the right time is going back to the previous lesson, lesson three, uh, where we learned about yield curves. And when you see that inverse yield curve or that yield curve that's flat, that's the time to be in the bond market because you're buying those bonds at a high interest rate and the Federal Reserve is showing you on the yield curve that they expect interest rates to go down over a long period of time. So when you see that, you're buying those bonds at a high coupon with the anticipation that the interest rates are going to drop and you're going to see a change in your market price and it's going to give you the capital that to then take and invest in the stock market when, when stocks are really cheap. So use this tool to your advantage. Put those, put those coupon payments in there, see what that bond price would, would change to, and really kind of learn the ins and outs. You don't have to understand the calculation. You just have to understand how it changes with interest rates and how it also changes with the term. So I hope that that uh, demonstration helps you understand how bond prices move with interest rates. It's a very important concept to understand. And when you combine this lesson with the previous lesson with the yield curves, um, I think you're going to find yourself really starting to understand how these markets move and how the value of these assets, whether it's a bond or a stock, how they are interrelated and how they all work together. So go ahead and play with the bond calculator. Really try to understand that how the term affects the bond and how the interest rates affects the bond. So this concludes course two, unit two, lesson four, calculating the value of a bond. You learned how the price of the bond changes with interest rates, and you also learned how to use the BuffettsBooks.com bond calculator.